what you gotta watch out for hidden in the river. These are all over the place. This ain't a very deep river. So you gotta always be careful what you're actually on. Check out these along this beach here. Got these little cut-ins. All along it. This one right here is the coolest. Right up into the woods. <laughs> I think it's a pretty good guess what it was. Looks like it was a beaver. Alright, well hey, out on the river here today. Uh, doing a little bit of exploring. Going to an area I've uh, barely been to. Just uh, checking it out, boating around. Uh, got a bunch of crawdad pots with me today. Gonna drop them in. Got all five, which is legal for us here in Washington State. And uh, don't even need a license to do it. Uh, we're gonna throw out some uh, trout guts with them. See how that does. But yeah, just out checking out some area. Man, it's a nice day. So we're gonna go ahead and set up my pots, throw some bait in it, and then we'll mow it around. See if we can find some spots to throw out. Oh, some ducks just blew out. They all just... It's probably too late to get that now. Oh, they're dropping in the water there on there, though. Oh, yeah, they're dropping down. All right, so here's the main traps we're using today. Four sets of these, and then I got one big trap. This is my favorite one. Go ahead and set some guts in here. Just leave the bag with that. That's basically what we're doing. Bake these all up, look up, set them all up. Here's one, they're pretty easy to work. You just literally take them, hook them in like that. And they took a uh, long line swivel, hook it together, and there's your trap. All traps in Washington also have to have this rot cord so that when it's laying in the water, it will eventually rot and won't be something that just continuously kills the crawdads. Well, with all this baited up, let's get on the river. Let's check out how deep it is right here. I'm thinking it's deeper than this guy. There's the bottom. All right, that's good right there. You can see it at the bottom. This spot looks pretty good. See how deep this spot is. I can see the bottom right there. Ooh, rocky too. There's a log jutting out. Let's see if that hits bottom. Yep, I do believe that is bottom. Number one, two, three. Number three down. All right, let's see how this spot looks. Fish head soup. Come on, crawdads. Eat up. Oh, yeah. An easy one to find. All right. Well, I don't know if the camera just died there just before I tossed it in there. Just threw the last pot in the water. We're good to go. We're just going to boat around the river, see what we can find. Come back in like 30 minutes, see what, what it's producing. Move pots around, see what we can find. Here we go. Oh, Kingfisher, he wasn't too happy with that. Looks like he was sitting right on top of our first trap, we, our last trap we set. We're gonna check it out, see if we got anything in this one. We'll float down the river, check out the other ones.
There's our last trap. You can see it set right there. We can actually see right into it. I don't think I see a single crawdad in there. First pull of the day, let's see what we got here. Not very confident with what I'm seeing in the water. actually a pretty decent hide even even without uh, sticking anything on top of it see the trap right there maybe right there well, that trap produced three we're gonna drop this big trap right here this is the spot right here. Decent sized buggers too. Those are eater size. So we're gonna check both these traps right here now. Now I'm gonna go check some of these other traps, see if they produce more. Maybe we'll move the traps over them. Now here's the third one we set. We got a motor right up beside it here. There's the trap. Here's the buoy. Good little current. <laughs> Nothing in that trap. We're gonna move it up further into the rocks. We're gonna do toss it out. I'm gonna hide it along the bank. Here's a little green one. Oh! That was pretty decent. Back down to the bottom. Let's go check that first one we tossed. <laughs> well, it ain't uh, crop fishing if you don't catch one of these. All right, here's the uh, trophy catch of the day. It's a goby, sculpin. Those little guys are so cool. But we're gonna go ahead and let him go. All right, well, my bone just died, so we're gonna toss this last pot and then I gotta get home and find out what the wife wants. Woo. All right, well, hey, good morning. Going out, we're gonna go catch those crawfish, pull up some traps, see what we caught. Got work here in a little bit, so we're literally just running out there as fast as we can, pulling the traps getting out of there. Hopefully we got a big pile to eat this afternoon. <laughs> Since I'm going to work and wearing pants, I figured I'd just wear these boots.
we're coming over the first drops here. Won't go too fast because I hit them all in these rocks last time. We're just looking for strings coming down. Gonna kick her into neutral. Ba bam! And goes. That's not what we're looking for. Nothing. Not a good sign. Alright, so here's our big trap. gonna drop these all back down I think. We got one crawdad today. Alright, a little afternoon check here. Just got to the pots. We're gonna go and see what we got. Stick you up there. Cooking some crawdads. Got my pots, crawdads, in the water. I got like five. <laughs> what a rough hunt. So anyway, fill up some water, boil up some crawdads, eat them. <clears throat> all right, well I got all the crawdads in the pot, cooking. We'll come back in a little bit and pull them out. All right, I think it's done. Yep, super red. Telltale sign right there. There's our catch. We're gonna go ahead and pray and they eat them up. You know, Father, thank you for this food. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to catch these and eat them. And thank you for the snack in your name, amen. Normally I'd uh, have a lot more going on here, some butter or something, but there's only five of them, so I'm just gonna chew them up, eat them real quick. Have a good one. Mm -hmm.